Do you want to edit faster? Do you want to have more control over your editing? Do you want to edit like a pro? This might be what you need. Hello everyone, my name is Adam Marie Box. welcome back to another review. Today we're taking a look at the Shuttle Pro V2 and the Shuttle Express from Contour Design. They sent me out a few things to review here, and today we're taking a look at their Shuttle products, which are products designed to help improve your editing performance and overall efficiency, and I think they're really, really neat products. If you've missed it, I have covered a few different of these kinds of products before. I've covered my uh, programmable keypad, my MX Master Mouse that I use for editing, and various keyboard and desk accessories. I have a few other videos like this on the way. I have I, I thoroughly enjoyed these products, and I'm going to show you how you can use these to improve your editing with very minimal setup time. So there are currently two models here. This is the Shuttle Pro V2, which is the big formal main desktop version. But then the Shuttle Express here is also pretty neat for taking on the go and has very similar features. They're both actually Linux compatible as well, which I was actually able to use it on my System76 Linux laptop as well. Pretty cool. Starting with the Shuttle Pro V2 here, let's break down what it actually is, as this will make it make a whole lot more sense as a product. In the center, we have two things here to scroll through on a timeline or source monitor. This one with the three indentions completely continues scrolling and is useful for going frame by frame or whatever use you have. It's very specific control. There's a little click with every, essentially what would be a frame that you rotate. And then you have the actual dial here, which is, has a nice rubber grip around it to speed up your playback or slow it down or like, you know, only go in bursts at a time, which I found myself using a lot as I generally speed through my footage as I'm editing and I rarely play it back full time or like real time other than when I'm reviewing the whole video. On the left and right, you have dedicated buttons, which could be useful for things like setting in and out frame or, you know, in and out markers or other sorts of markers or just skipping to the end of a clip. And then the bottom four buttons are programmable for whatever you want. Everything's programmable for whatever you want, but the software that you install to configure it does come with some specific presets based on which editing program you're using. And they have one set up for pretty much any editing program. I saw, I know Vegas and Premiere for sure auto detected and had it set up pretty much how I wanted other than these top two rows, which you can either program to specific functions or I set mine up with my auto hotkey scripts to add in a couple extra transitions like I did with my macro keypad. And it's really handy. These come off, these are a little annoying to to pull the covers off. I ended up use, having to use like a bent out paper clip to pop the tabs off, um, but then they do come with custom labels that you can use to write on or print on whatever you want the labels for the buttons to be. It's a little big. I have a lot of trouble at the moment fitting this stuff on my desk as I have a ton of stuff on my desk. I've got my Wasp Code keyboard, which thankfully is 10 key keyless because I can't fit a, a bigger keyboard at the moment. I've got my keypad and my MX Master Mouse, and I've got room for basically nothing else. This set between my mouse and my keyboard as I like having, you know, it on the right side because bas basically it kind of replaces my mouse movement but the size of it meant I'm constantly moving it around on a bigger setup that's dedicated just for editing instead of editing, gaming, everything else that I do, you're going to have a lot better result. The rubber feet keep it from slipping around. They do a pretty good job. Just some basic six rubber feet on the bottom here. Fairly straightforward. And then the extra plastic is contoured in a way that makes it really comfortable, comfortable to put your wrist on, which is very important to me given my various wrist and hand joint issues and the like. The Shuttle Express, on the other hand, is a little different. It's the same concept. It's just broken down into only the top part. I do feel like they could have put a couple buttons on the bottom part here, but then maybe that would have led to accidental clicks or whatever. But you have, but you have basically the same idea. You've got the dial, the jog. I could be mixing those up. I do apologize. This is my first time getting into these projects, but you have the scroll, the actual dial that just goes back and forth, the two side buttons, and then three programmable buttons with indentations. Now, unfortunately, the buttons do not have 
covers to label them yourself, and since it's black, it would be hard to mark on them, whereas on the normal shuttle, you could kind of use permanent marker if you wanted to label them. Uh, but it's great for taking on the go, also has little rubber feet to keep it from going, and is super lightweight. And like I said, it works with Linux, it works with Mac, it works with PC. Whether or not the software configuration software works with your specific operating system may vary, but if you set it up and program it how you like on your specific operating system, or on one that works, then it'll work, you know, it, the, the configuration saves to it so you can keep using it. Like I said, it works on Linux, Mac, and PC, and both of them are pretty great, and they're very useful for speeding up your editing, especially if you don't have the kind of macro keypad that I do. Since I'm, I got so used to, like, my muscle memory relying on that keypad off to the left, if you don't have something like that and don't want to set up this big programmed thing, configuring the buttons in the software is super straightforward it's very easy to use and then this can be very handy to just have essentially off to the left of your keyboard to just scroll through clips and then do what you need to with your mouse and barely use your keyboard at all it is great it is comfortable the big shuttle pro is of course much more comfortable than the shuttle express just simply due to the contouring and the angle uh, but it does take up a substantial amount of desk space. So if you have a full keyboard with a number pad or a big keyboard, or maybe something like the <laughs> IBM Model M I was going to try to fit on my desk, then you may have trouble figuring out where exactly to put it. But either way, they're pretty cool. If you can deal with the ergonomics of it, I might actually just recommend using the Shuttle Express as it's going to be a little bit cheaper and take up less space and be a little bit mobile because it's easier to pick up and just like move around out of your way when you need to. And I honestly only found myself using these top buttons and the side buttons anyway. The bottom ones, since they weren't labeled and I never really had any extra features I found or means uh, or that I found that I needed to program them to, I ended up not using the bottom buttons a whole heck of a lot. So just having like three presets that you want to program to it and then the side buttons for like in and out markers or whatever may end up being a lot more helpful for you. But I do love the dial and the jog here to speed through clips. That's something I used very, very heavily. And I pulled this out and left this out for about a week to as I was expecting to film this video and I ended up missing it quite a bit because I use that I use that so frequently to speed through videos. This has been my review of the Shuttle Express and the Shuttle Pro V2 from Contour Design. Some sort of product like this, once you get serious about editing, I strongly recommend integrating into your workflow. Something like this, the Express, the Pro V2, a programmable keypad, something I, I, I assure you that will speed up your editing efficiency like nothing else. It has, these products have helped my editing workflow just skyrocket and uh, over the past like six months to a year as I've started using this stuff, my editing capabilities as well as productivity has grown so much and it's all thanks to products like this. So product links as always will be in the description down below. Thank you to Contour Design for sending these out. This video is not sponsored. They simply provided them for review like 90% of the things I review. Uh, Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. If you have any questions about these specifically, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll have a little text bit for the specific transitions that I'm using for my program buttons. Although keep in mind that you need to customize them to your own needs. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. I also want to take a moment to give a huge thanks and shout out to our recent Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, these videos would not be possible, and I thoroughly appreciate your help. Visit patreon.com slash to learn more.